All right, so I had a friend of mine tell me last night um, that they couldn't believe how much cinnamon sugar had increased in price. And we were kind of talking by a text message, and I kind of realized they were buying cinnamon and sugar already mixed instead of doing it the old-fashioned way. And because I put a lot of cooking videos on my YouTube channel for stuff I make on the homestead, and I have for years, and even before the homestead, I used to put hiking recipes up and that sort of thing. And pretty much anybody that follows me on Instagram or Facebook knows that I cook every day. Um, I like to eat. I like good food. I don't like restaurant food, so I cook every single day, two, sometimes three meals a day. Anyways, um, once I realized, so what I was getting at is that when the pandemic started, nobody really knew how to cook. Very few people, I mean, there were people that knew how to cook, but you realize very quickly how many people don't know how to cook. Even the most basic of things, the most basic of knowledge, like how to make cinnamon sugar. I've made this since, gosh, I was a little kid, five or six years old. We used to put it on, you know, toast bread and put butter on it and put cinnamon sugar on it. I, I knew how to make that from a very early age and... And talking to my friend, I just kind of realized that, wow, there's people out there that don't know how to make cinnamon sugar. All right, so first thing you need to do, you need to have granulated sugar, just white plain sugar like you put in tea or coffee or any kind of drink or bake with. Got to have that. Then you got to have cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And you can get that in multiple sizes. Hold on just a second. I'll get mine out. All right, so I use so much cinnamon, I actually buy pretty much all of my spices now for probably the last five or six years. I buy them in bulk containers, and then I transfer them over to a small container. But you can buy a small container, or you can buy it in bulk. Almost everything, when you look at cost, is cheaper to buy it in bulk. And you can see I do kind of the same thing with pepper, same thing with salt, sesame seed, garlic, chili powder. I literally buy as much as I can in bulk and that's a, a cost savings. And when you cook a lot, it's just nice to know you always have what you need. All right. So back to, let me get these put up. Back to what I'm getting at. It is very simple to make cinnamon sugar. You, you buy ground cinnamon. You use, get you an old container. This is a French onion dip. I just basically saved the lid to a, something I use. I do that all the time. And then I repurpose them. For instance, if you look up in my cabinets, you will often see stuff like empty coffee cans with like, this one contains pancake mix. There's others, you know, that have just stuff I use regularly. Powdered sugar, brown sugar. I use old coffee cans for those because it keeps better and keeps fresher that way. Um, anyways... You need ground cinnamon, you need sugar. The amounts you need, most, most recipes will say two teaspoons of ground sugar. So put your ground sugar in your little container to one cup, or I'm sorry, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon to one cup of granulated sugar. Pour that in, and I'm doing this one-handed, and the one cup measuring things almost the size of the bowl so I just got to go slow now you notice I actually poured 
poured that on top of the teaspoon. I did that kind of intentionally because if you dip this a couple of times, it gets the little bits of cinnamon off of there without wasting it. Isn't that another cool tip? All right, that shows you I just cook way too much. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to put the lid on it. Make sure it's secured. Then you're going to do this. Just give it a shake. Shake it a few times. Shake it upside down. Shake it when it's on its side. All right. Now, I'm going to wait about, mm, about a minute and I'll bring you back. Why am I waiting? Because cinnamon is lighter than the sugar and it will actually collect in the dead space and then when you open up the lid you'll get this puff of cinnamon that comes out i like to conserve like i am so frugal with everything i do i'm going to wait a minute for the cinnamon to then settle and then i'll take the top off and show you all right so our minute has passed and now is the moment of truth course opening this one handed oh there we go there we go now we have our perfect cinnamon sugar and this costs way cheaper she was telling me i thought she i thought she told me it was like did she say six dollars six six dollars for four ounces Six dollars for four ounces. This is 2.3 ounces of cinnamon. I think it was around two dollars and some change. And sugar, we all know what it costs, you know, five pound bag or a ten pound bag. That would make, wow. You could literally buy this stuff and pay about the same price and then make it. Gosh, I don't know how many teaspoons are in 2.3 ounces but you could make us a lot because i probably had um even though i cook as much as i do i probably only go through about one of these a year so there you go you could make it many many times and i guarantee you this is a, a cup of sugar that's probably let's actually just weigh it all right got my kitchen scale out got it on grams better change that ounces make sure we're still zeroed look I just more than doubled so this container probably weighs maybe an ounce empty so I just doubled the recipe for less than you paid for one or I doubled the amount for less than you paid for buying it one time by doing it myself way cheaper Anyways, hope you all find this tip. I, I'm going to start posting these little videos, that, things that I just assume people knew. You know, during coronavirus and a pandemic, as more people are cooking in their homes, I, I realize that stuff that I just always thought was general knowledge that everybody knew that people don't know. So hopefully you enjoy this. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.